Good morning, I am Kristen and welcome to my channel on healing my body and mind through nutrition and exercise. Welcome back if you have been following along and welcome if you are new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, follow along and comment. I always love to hear your comments and see where you are on your journey. And are you here to find more about carnivore or are you already on the carnivore animal based journey? So I am on vacation and I talked to you the other day about how going carnivore and going on a animal based diet or any type of diet at all when on vacation can be hard. So thankfully, I do have a kitchen and I've been able to maintain carnivore lifestyle here while at the apartment. However, when we go out to eat, that's a little bit more challenging. If you are on a carnivore diet and you've been on this diet, then you know that going out is a challenging um, situation because not every place is accommodating. You may pay full price for a dish that you're only eating the protein. And so those are things to take into consideration. So yesterday when we went out to breakfast, I was able to find that on their menu, they had an a la carte. Perfect. So I had my three eggs, I had bacon, and I made sure to tell them that to cook it in butter and no seed oils. So we were good for breakfast. And then for lunch, we went out to this place that was a seafood restaurant that we love to come to when we're here. And I had their mussels that were cooked in a garlic butter sauce. So I did have the garlic, which may not be your thing, but for me, I know that I'm okay with garlic. And so that was absolutely delicious as well. And it did come with bread. So my willpower was not there. I've been so good, but it smelled so good. And dipping the bread in the little sauce of the mussels is absolutely delicious. So I did dip a little bit of bread in the mussels and I'm okay with that. It was a little bite. I had no effect. I, I felt good. I still feel good. Um, and then for dinner, we went to a barbecue spot that we've been to in the past as well. And so the barbecue spot, we had brisket and I had pulled chicken and pulled pork. And I ordered the pulled pork and then realized, oh no, I hope it doesn't affect me. Well, I felt a little nauseous at the moment and I don't know if it's mental, but I actually felt okay last night. So I don't know. Um, if maybe it's the seasoning that we use at home that's causing it. So that is something to take into consideration and see if maybe we switch it up and see if it still affects me, but that'll be later on and I will keep you noted on that. I also had a little bit of turkey as well, smoked turkey that was absolutely delicious as well. And I had this size bite of a French fry just to taste it really, really good and a bite of the mac and cheese, which I absolutely love mac and cheese, but I had one little bite and I did not have the rest. So the side dishes went to the kids and I know Kristen, why even take a bite, right? You had the rest on your plate. Everything was good. Everything was carnivore. So why do it? Well, I'm on vacation and I figured let's test it out. Let's test it out with the small little bits and pieces here and there and see how I feel. So far, so good. I do not intend on continuing going back and just like all of a sudden eating a bunch of french fries or eating a bunch of mac and cheese. Like that's not the plan at all because I know that eating this way has helped with curing my depression. It's helped with lowering my anxiety. It's helped with lowering my inflammation and so many other things. So I do not plan on doing that. But I think that a little bite was okay. And I, the type of person, I know myself. So you have to know yourself and how you're going to handle these situations. I know that I can take one bite and be okay. Whereas some people will take one bite and then just finish the whole bowl of mac and cheese, right? So you have to know who you are. You have to know your limits and what you can and cannot do. So for me, that was our adventure yesterday. And today we plan on just lounging by the beach, enjoying the day. So today will be pure carnivore. I already made breakfast. I made eggs cooked in butter with ham mixed inside and I made bacon. And so we have leftover um, barbecue food. I have leftover hamburgers that we made here the other day. And later on tonight, we're going to make some churrasco and shrimp. And so today will be a full carnivore day 
and I will try. I, I did not take a picture of my breakfast already this morning because we were all so hungry, but I will try to maybe do a little sneak peek videos in between and show you those on the next video, uh, maybe tomorrow or the day after that. But I hope that you're having a beautiful day. Remember to give your body some grace, some love, and remember that this journey is not linear. And if you make the smallest changes of trying to see if animal base fits for you, that's okay. You can find out that maybe it's not for you. Or if you're on vacation and you have something that you're not supposed to eat, do not put yourself down. It's okay. We have one life to live. That little bit, that little bite that I ate is not going to lessen my lifespan. And I'm enjoying the time that I am, have here on vacation with my family. And again, I didn't overindulge. I didn't go ahead and eat, you know, the three slices of bread that they gave me with my muscles. I did not at all. Um, I did not eat the bowl of macaroni and cheese. I did not eat my corn muffin. Uh, I gave that to my son who loves uh, cornbread. And so live your life the way that you know is best for you. This is a no judgment zone. Thank you for joining me. Welcome again if you are new and welcome back. And I hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day.